can ignite a media firestone like Ann Coulter and her latest book, Guilty, like her other books, is very controversial, deliberately uh, provocative. After all, it sells books, and we are happy to have with us Ann Coulter. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I think we've, we've all had a... I've been discussing your book on camera. Yes, camera. I've heard. So, good. You should be pleased. So, Whoopi would like I, to I just start. have a, a couple questions, actually. In your book, you devote an entire chapter to single mothers. Yes. And what happens to children raised in single-parent homes. You title the chapter, Victim of a Crime, Thank a Single Mother. What is your issue with single mothers? Because I, I know you don't have any kids. I mean, maybe you have stepkids. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. But, um, and I just, before you answer, I just want to say, uh, you said that single motherhood is like a farm team for future criminals and social outcasts. 70% of inmates in prisons come from single parent homes. Hollywood actresses using single motherhood as a way to promote their careers. And, and it says, you say it's very selfish for a single mother to have a baby without a father. So I'm wondering. Yeah, well, we now have 30 or 40 years of social science research. I mean, I'm just citing, this is, um, you know, um, dressed up numbers crunching. I'm just giving the numbers. 80% of the inmates in prisons were raised by single mothers. About 70% of the runaways of the child um, juvenile delinquents, juvenile murderers, juvenile rapists raised by single mothers. And the point is, this didn't happen by accident. The illegitimacy rate alone has gone up over 300% since 1970. Yeah, and as I describe in my book, this was a specific plan by the left attacking the nuclear family. The okay, most famous wait, 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 example. Go back to the, I'm, 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 I know you want to, I'm sorry, I know you want to do this whole left thing because that's what you do, that's your act. No, but what, what I, I think do is want true. to, but I do want to know because a lot of what you've cited in terms of this, just specifically this, is based on sort of not great research because we've seen this research discounted time and time again. But why would you say Hollywood actresses using single mother? I take offense to that, of course, as you can understand, because having been a single mother, I don't think it was something well, I used as a point tool. The is, well, I don't think you've done it in the okay. last few years, and this is, it has become... Are you become talking about, in the, I'm sorry, to say this again? You, you talked about the last, you talked about actresses in the last few years. Right, that's oh, why okay. I say it's the new that's thing, make sure. as it's opposed thing. to the sex tapes. Why don't that's you come down as hard on the fathers the who aren't there, rather than the women who actually raised the children? I would I'll answer that, because... The title is Guilty Liberal Victims and Their Assault on American. The right. point of the book is, in example after example, of how people play the victim are exalted in this society, have doors open for them, when in fact they're the ones victimizing others. I've never heard anyone say, unsung heroes, unwed fathers, how does he do it? He has well, four yeah. children with three different mothers. How did he have the time to do that? You do have, as I describe in that chapter, mm -hmm. Hollywood, mainstream media, the New York Times, women's magazines, exalting single motherhood, movie after movie about, about single motherhood, book after book. Are you she, married? Sisters are doing it right, for right, themselves. Right. Are, you are you married? You are, you, are you married? No, but it wouldn't change the difference no, no. of the facts I cite. Do you have kids? No, okay. and it wouldn't change just, the difference you know, of the facts. Well, it would if you had I children, you'd know you want, more what you were talking about. Do you want about. children? Because I, I do realize that there are mothers who are divorced, and you don't blame them as much, and, and there are mothers who are widowed, but there are women who do want children. I'm not talking about the teenagers, the irresponsible, right. and so forth, and need to be loved. We can perhaps, you know, go with it. But there are women who do want children. Yeah, that's what and, I write and about. And single mothers. And how Why selfish can, it is. That's and precisely take, what... can take care of these children yeah, and give them happy homes or adopt these here. children. Okay, no, I am not. And nor are the studies. Racism, all those things. Absolutely not. Sorry, you are wrong about that and that is the interesting... Kill anybody. That's all I'm well, saying. No, it's, of course that's it's not I'm every... Saying. The point is you look at it from the other end. You know, and I look at the prison end and know it is not true that I'm leaving out race. There is, in fact, I cite a study by the Progressive Policy Institute, a liberal institute, saying that if you take single motherhood out of the equation, the black and white crime rates are exactly the same. So you take everything else out, single motherhood is not good for children. That is a fact, well, what I would like to a ask fact you, that it is promoted. I would like to ask you because you, you know, I, th there's some nuggets of truth that you have in stuff that you write, but I don't see any compassion that you have. Do you go out and do you talk to single uh, young girls about trying not to, you know, to use birth control? Are you trying to be part of the solution well, sure, as opposed of to just judging, 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 and look, throwing out stuff? Look, the more 
judgmental we have been about the mothers, the yeah. more real victims have been created. Can I ask millions you something? and millions per year. I mean, it's not like this is some inevitable number that we must have of single of children being raised by single mothers every, every year. It wouldn't have gone up by more than 300 okay, percent since on. 1970. Let's move on that topic because you call it liberal victims. You know, the biggest victim this week is your girlfriend Sarah Palin. She is whining about everything. The well, media she, was wrong. The media Kate, was horrible. Kate, Kate, by the way, she has a child born. She is, the media attacked her, un, her daughter's unborn child. She's acting like appalling. a victim now. And why is it just liberals who are victims? Give me a break. No, but the point of the book is not to say that, that there are that there aren't any victims. Of course, there are well, victims. Why is it That's liberal my and point. Victims put together that there. Liberals play the victim while creating real victims. I'm not saying there's no such thing as victim, but but can we get back to what you were attacking me for when I wasn't here? Which I was good to have black celebrities. Yeah. See, now you've never yeah. heard She's my book. Attacked. Well, no, no, I just want to respond. Follow up on what we were saying about about you saying that. They identify with their black side, and right. we had something you to say. To what did think you think that I was trying to read people's minds? I believe someone said, or that I've that had me. some personal experience with them. To the contrary, as I cite in the book, I am talking about things they have done and said. Barack Obama writes his first book. I think it was his first book, his mm -hmm. autobiography, "Dreams from My Father." He identifies with the father oh, who abandoned him. Well, he he said, well, I read mother. the book. He yeah. his mother off with He's a the point is that we don't have that much time. Wait, you guys attack me for it, and I can't respond. How Halle Berry accepts the Academy Award. Okay, just let me answer. Barack Obama felt that Halle Berry accepts the truth. We are not attacking you. You wrote something provocative. I read aloud like you're reading Mein Kampf, and I just did. And I just read a section aloud. Yes, and read it like you're reading Mein Kampf again. I don't think I did that. I think you did. You spat out the words when I wasn't sitting here. Let me do this. Throughout John, because I'd like to discuss something current. Throughout John F. Kennedy's presidency and beyond, reporters notoriously hid the fact that JFK was a venereal, disease-ridden, sexual profligate and drug addict. The courtier press was too busy manufacturing a nonsense image of Camelot. I read this because I'd, I'd love to hear your view on Caroline Kennedy's um, desire was to that become the Senate. Was that yes, that was lovely. You could do the, the audio book. Um, I, well, we don't know that much you about her. I mean, it is striking. You're attacking you. I just don't appreciate the way you're talking to her. I mean, nobody is attacking you. You didn't have to talk to her. I wasn't like, here. And you're describing the same I just think Anne. Go on. Okay, I think we can move on from tone and get to substance, but he's flashing rap, so. Well, um, here's the deal. Oh, no. Since it. <laughs> we'll wrap as soon as we're, it's time, but you're, you're sort of just did like two great put downs in one sentence. I want to reiterate, nobody was putting down or, or attacking Look, you. Look, you're claiming Excuse that me. I was basing I, it on I personal to you. experience. I, I was to, not basing no, it on I personal experience. the question, were you? Halle Berry's because Academy you Award acceptance not, speech went on not. and on about how she was doing it for the blacks. That is identifying with her black father. I'm talking about what they but do you, and you, say you in know, public. You can't take it, can you? You can dish it out, but you can't take it. We'll be right back in with Anne's book. We'll be right back.